All right, so I wanted to talk about a little bit of my third eye stuff. I talked about most of it with my testimony, but um, since I just did a video on the third eye thing, I was going to add a few more stories. Ooh, this is a real thing that can happen. I My third eye was open, and I didn't even know what the third eye was. You could accidentally open your third eye. Um... There's a couple people online who've done meditation and they've accidentally opened their third eye. And they tell you don't do it. It's a, it's a trick. It's demonic. It's open, meditating oh, to open your third eye. Doing yoga to open your third eye is demonic. It is not okay. You can do it with drugs. You can do it with any other way. It's all evil. You Because I'm getting comments saying, well, if you do it through meditation, it's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Eastern meditation, meditation... Or new age meditation is is demonic. It's just, you're opening, you're making yourself an empty vessel for something to come in. All right, you're opening doorways, and they will never, they will always stay open. Okay, unless you repent of it, and that's something I really need to talk about. If you've ever done any of this stuff, and even if you stopped doing it. You, and if you never repented of it, you still have to pay for that stuff in hell, okay? Like, I did yoga for two years, way before I got saved. Way before my near-death experience. I did yoga for two years, but I stopped doing it. Just for other reasons. And, but I still had to pay for that when I went to hell, okay? You still have to pay for everything you've ever done, even though you stopped doing it. That's something very important. You have to repent of it. You have to get clean of that sin. Just because you stop doing it doesn't mean you don't have to pay for it anymore, okay? You have to repent of everything in your life. That You have to pay for every single sin. Even sins, even sins when you were a kid, you'll have to pay for. Um, so that's why you have to repent. And that's why hell is forever. And that's why it's so bad. Because you have to keep paying for every sin that you ever did. Anyway. So no meditating... Third eye meditation is still evil. Um, I'll try to put links below with the other testimonies that said that same thing. If I can find them. But um, my third eye was open. It, but it had more to do with my drugs. But it really it had to do with... It really had to do with one of my near-death experience. When I died, okay? It really opened after that. I, I, I am not making these stories up. Okay, I... You're not supposed to swear on the Bible, but I think you can say, God, as God is my witness, I am not lying about this stuff. Okay, listen to me. The day I died, I'll never forget this. The day I died, I'm not sure if I said this in my testimony or not. I saw, I was already experiencing some supernatural stuff before I died. But when I died, I was, I don't, I don't mean, I don't know, I don't know if I was flatlined or not. But I, my friend was there when I passed out, Okay. And she said I was blue from head to toe. And she said I was stiff. She said, I thought you were dead, man. She called 911, okay, obviously. And they gave me Narcan and it woke me up. But um, I, she said, you were stiff. It was like you had rigor mortis or something already. You were stiff hard. You were, I thought you, everyone thought you were dead. So that's how close to death I was. Anyway, when I woke up, I saw something in my eye. It looked... I could see through it, but it looked like a little worm or a snake. It was in my eye, and I was so freaked out. I thought this, I and it was like, what the heck is that? And of course, I tried to wash it out and do all this weird stuff. I looked up all these like weird things online about worms in your eye. Of course, they have like, you know, they have like people who've had worms in their eye, but it wasn't a real worm. It was like a, I could see through it. It was like a supernatural thing, and it was in my eye, and I was so scared. And after that, like, I just started seeing all kinds of weird stuff. Um, I mentioned most of it in my third eye testimony and my other testimony, but I will bring up some more stories. This one time, I saw, these are, these are kind of, these are, I know that these are demons now, but at the time I didn't know that they were demons. There, there I was in my apartment and it felt like the whole thing started shaking. I thought, I le wasn't thinking anything supernatural. I thought legitimately there was an earthquake. So I went outside and I went to go look around. It was like at 3 o'clock in the morning. I went outside and there was this guy outside. Oh, 
I now know that this thing was a demon, okay? But at the time, I didn't know that that, that thing was... I thought it was the neighbor. And he was hiding behind the fence like this. Like, here's the fence. Like, I had... There was a wooden fence, and he was hiding like this. And I couldn't... I could barely see him. He was hiding in the shade. And I really just thought it was a neighbor at first. And he was all black. I, I just thought it was the shade, though. And he's like... He was kind of, like, laughing at me. And I could only see, like, part of his head. He was like... <laughs> He's like, did you feel that? Did you feel that? He's like, what? I was like, yeah, what was that? And I turned around and he wasn't there anymore. I, I think, I'm pretty sure that was a dang demon, okay? Um, and he was, he was, a, he was, but I could, he was a solid figure though. I could, I could, I, I couldn't see through him. He was a solid figure and he was hiding his face like this. So scary. And another time, oh, ugh. ugh. So other time, I saw this guy, this was in broad daylight, and I was in my car, I was parked in a parking lot, like under, a, like a, in a parking structure, so it was kind of dark in there, and I was just in my car, I was probably, I, I don't know what I was doing, I was, I was, the car wasn't started or anything, yeah, I was in there doing something, and this guy came up to my window. And I had already been seeing a bunch of weird stuff. I knew this was just going to be one of those weird things I was going to start seeing. This guy came up to my window. He was a really tall guy. And he was, he had like a mist around him. He had a mist around him. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but I'm not making this up. And he leaned down and he, he was like looking at me, kind of. He, it was weird because he was talking to me, but he wasn't looking at me. And he just kept saying, have you seen my son? Have you seen my son? And I was just like, I thought this thing was a ghost. I thought I was seeing ghosts, but these things are not ghosts. Okay, it's a trick. These are not ghosts. Um, and I was just like, no, dude, I haven't seen your son. He, it's like he didn't hear me, though. He was like talking to me, but he couldn't see me and he couldn't hear me. Because I like, just kept saying, dude, I don't know where your son is. He just kept saying, have you seen my son? Have you seen my son? And I just, I just like slowly started my car and left and he had a weird mist around him. And I was just like, oh man, uh, uh and this, oh, and this one other time I saw a bunch of weird things. My life was like the X-Files for four years. So do not open your third eye. Do not do it. You're in big trouble if you do this. And another time, ugh, when it was at its worst, when it was at its worst, I would see those shiny things flying out flying in the sky okay sometimes other people can see them but some people some most of the time other people couldn't see them but sometimes i'd be with people and i don't understand how that works like hey do you see that thing out there they're like oh yeah but sometimes they'd be like i don't see what you're seeing and i was just like i'm crazy <laughs> um by the way i don't see any of this stuff anymore after i got saved i don't see any of this stuff anymore and i don't want to and you know i would tell my friends and family Especially when it first started happening. But I immediately stopped doing that. They were just like, you're nuts. You're high. I was not high for four years straight, day and night. Okay, I was not high that long. There's no way. What drug did I take that I was high for every day? Day and night. And because I was seeing this stuff day and night, it didn't stop. Some days were worse than others, but it was never a relief. Until I got saved, alright? Um, and but, but when it was at its worst, I would see those... I'm using the word UFO, but because it sounds crazy, but I would see those things outside day and night. Oh, day and night. And the the worst, one of the one of the scariest things that that happened when that was happening was at night. It looked like there was just a helicopter outside though. This is a this is when I that one time I specifically remember losing time. It was a time loop or a loss of time, I guess that's what you would call. I will never forget. It was I was so terrified. There was a helic. It looked just like a helicopter, though. This didn't look like a UFO when this was happening. It was a helicopter outside my window all night long, but it was creepy because I just laid down to go back to go to bed, and I noticed this helicopter. I was looking at it, and then it was morning. <laughs> it was morning. I was like literally just woke up, lay down for like maybe, and it seemed like twenty minutes had passed. And I did not fall asleep. I was not dreaming. I, I, it was morning. Like, I remember, looking at, I remember looking at this helicopter, and the helicopter had been out there for a while. I was like, why is that helicopter hovering over my window? And it was morning. 
Like, just like that, all of a sudden it was morning. I was scared. I was terrified. I That was like a time loop or a loss of time. And the only thing I had, the only other time I had that kind of experience was like, I would hear the same things over and over again outside. It was like time loops. It was, I was so scared. I didn't know what was going on. No, if I looked outside, I wouldn't see anything. It would look normal. Okay. But I would hear the same car going again and again and again. And I would hear the same kind of dog barking like it was in a time loop. Or I'd hear someone going up my driveway again and again and again. And I hear this a lot with people, with targeted individuals. They say that there's people following them. But it's, it has to be a demonic thing. Okay. Because I don't see or hear any of this stuff after I got saved. And it's like audio time loops. Okay. It was like audio time loops. I, I, it wouldn't happen very often, but it would happen. And it was just, I, oh man, that was so terrifying. The helicopter thing really freaked me out. I had just gone down, laid down to go to bed. And it was like, I was, it felt like 20 minutes. And then it was morning, like nine hours had passed. I was just like, what the, and I was exhausted. I did not go to sleep and I had to get up and go to work. And I was like, what the, what the heck is, and I had already been experiencing this stuff, experiencing this stuff for years. And I was just like, I'm so sick of this stuff. I am so tired of this. And I am so done with telling, trying to tell people too. People are just, people either get scared and they don't, they don't want to talk about it. Or they just think you're crazy. And I think all that is so selfish. Because unless it's happening to them, it's not true, right? Like, who cares if billions of people say they've seen ghosts? Oh, I didn't see a ghost, so it must not be true then, right? <laughs> like, it's only true if you've experienced it. That's so selfish. People are so selfish. And I understand it's hard to believe, but people are really, really selfish. If they don't see it, if they don't, if they, if they were, they've never had an encounter like that, it's not true. Who cares? All these thousands of people are lying because I didn't experience it. It's all very selfish. And so I just stopped talking to people for a long time. And uh, I, my, I, I mean, I mean, I talk to people now, but I'm just like, unless, I'm just going to talk to you about Jesus now. I don't care if you believe in that, in that supernatural, my supernatural stories. Just go to believe in Jesus anyway, because there is a real place that you'll be going to where all those things are, okay? And you will see that I'm not lying. I wasn't lying about any of it. So you, you should just believe, take, you should just take my word on the Jesus part, at least. I don't even care if you believe my supernatural stories. Just don't go to hell. That place is real. <sighs> what else? There was another one I wanted to mention. I saw oh, so many bad memories. And I've never seen like an alien. I've never seen like, you know, the bug eyed thing. I've never seen that. But I have seen the UFO thing that I just said. But one time outside of my window, actually it was in my room. I, th I heard like this big... It sounded like a big praying mantis or something, or a big insect. Like, this thing was huge. And it was like, and it was like, I don't know, it sounded like an insect. And I was so scared, because it was just so real. I was like, there is something in my room, and I didn't turn around and go look at it. I was petrified, as usual. And it just sounded like a big insect, and it was sounded like a big praying mantis or something, and it was so scary. And one other thing, I wanted to bring up the third eye thing since I just talked, made the video. And another thing, I saw so many ghosts. I don't, and it was all creepy because they are all glowing green. And I have a video about that. Some guy helped me with understand why it was green all the time. Anyway, so it, the, and this other time it was so scary. It was exactly like that movie Poltergeist where all those things are going through the wall. And all their watches were falling off. Like, they're like, it's all hint to you that these are the watchers, okay? Um, but that, the, the watches weren't falling off. What I saw, these people, they served in, like, a progression going through my room. They were, like, green, glowing green. And they had this one, they were, I don't know, they couldn't see me. Or they didn't know I was there. Okay, they, and they were just going through my window They'd come out this wall and they would go through this window right here. And this one guy, one guy he saw that I could see him or this demon, whatever. And he looked at me like this and he had a lamp like Green Lantern. I'm not kidding. All those movies are all those movies about the devil. He had a lantern in his hand. He just like leaned down. He leaned down and looked at me like this. 
And then he and I would I was trying so hard to pretend like I couldn't see them. I that was something I did for a long time because they do not interact with these things. If you you need to start praying. <laughs> if you ever see any of this stuff, you need to start praying. Don't start talking to these things. Do not start interacting. That's what they want, okay? Do not interact with these things. You are not in the sixth sense. Do not try to figure out their story. These things are not even real people. They're not spirits of real people anymore, okay? Um. Anyway, it's just that he had a lantern in his hand. He just leaned down and looked at me, and I was just, like, trying not to look at him. But it's hard when there's, like, a thing leaning down with your lantern in your face. It's It was terrifying. And... Anyway, I just wanted to bring up some of, the, some of those few extra stories. I think that ugh, those are the main ones. But that hell, I wanted to bring up that time loss thing. I didn't. I don't think I mentioned that in my testimony. When I made that original testimony, that thing was like three hours long, and I had to cut it down. But the time lapse thing is real. It happened to me that one time, really bad, really bad. It, 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 there was a helicopter outside for like twenty minutes, and it was like nine hours later. It was. Cr horrible and creepy anyway um please don't meditate please don't open your third eye if you ever see anything like this you just need to start praying don't try to like talk to these things don't try to interact with it that's what they want okay don't communicate with them that's when you're communicating with them you're opening that doorway with them even more and it stays open the only way to close it is through jesus anyway um thank you